So this is question 43, and they've given me a table of data, which I've already had and typed them into my calculator. And they asked, which of these two lines fits the data better, this line here or this line? And they note that neither one of them is actually the least squared regression line, but they say, which one is better using least squares criterion? So really what they want you to, to demonstrate is that you understand this idea of least squares criterion. So like I said, I've typed the numbers into my calculator already. And just because I don't want to do it mentally, these two equations that are listed right here, I've already typed into my Y1 and Y2. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in L3, I'm going to use Y1, this first equation here, to make predictions. I'm going to take all these X values and stick them in there and see what I get. So I get Y1 of L1. Here's what they guess. These are the guesses. These are the actual values in L2. These are the guesses. So now I need to see how wrong I was. So this is going to be the actual minus the predicted. What's that called? That's a residual. Great. So there are the residuals. They don't add up to zero here because this is really not a line of best fit. It's just some line they made up. That's why it doesn't add up to zero. But that's irrelevant. It says use the least squares criterion. So in L5, I'm going to take all these things in L4 and square them. There it is. And I could sum these up or I can just use my superhuman brain and see that those sum up to three. So the sum of the squares of the residuals for this first line is 3. Now I want to do the same idea for the second line. So now in L3 it's going to be Y2 of L1, taking all the L1s and plugging them in there. Finding out how wrong I was here, the actual values in L2 minus the predicted values in L3. Squaring all of those. And then again, using my superhuman brain to add these up, I get 18. And of course, you don't have to be a stat teacher to know that 18 is bigger than 3. So this first line, this first y, y hat equals y, 1 minus x, that's the best, better of the two. So this is the better of the two, but they noted neither one of them was actually the least grade regression line. So I want to find the least grade regression line just for grins and see how good it is. So on my home screen, I'm going to go stat calc number eight, and I'm going to plug this into Y3. So I'm going to save my regression equation into Y3. Well, holy cow, I can see why they like these two equations better than this because all those decimal points will drive me nuts. But this one must be the best of the three. So I'm going to use the same method to test it out. In L3, I'm going to go Y3, that regression equation of the X's. And then I'll see how wrong I was by taking the actual minus the predicted. And then I'm going to square all of these. Now remember, the better of the two had a sum of the squares of the residuals equal to 3. So let's see what the sum of the squares of the residuals is now, less than 3. Now, it's not a whole lot less than 3, so you might choose to use this first equation anyway because it's a whole lot easier to use Y1 than it is to use Y3, but Y3 is the better of the three lines. That's a good explanation for problem 43. Three.